but you have also characterization that okay if f is a map which is kind of you know under, under that the inverse images of open sets is open okay and closed sets is closed that's going to be also you know the definition of quantity so you have lots of e, you know equivalent characterizations of continuity okay the results are mentioned here just recall them for your uh, convenience okay i'm not going to get into that and we obviously know that the composition of two continuous functions is continuous okay so i'm going to touch only those bits from this chapter which are new so i'm not going to touch topology in detail what this has to what continuity has to do you know, with non dispersion so what would be the for example the first example of a continuous function the first example of the continuous function that we want to show or we want to have is that norm is a continuous function we know that norm is a function it's a map so norm is a map from where to where it is oh space from the space into the k r r r sir r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r This map is continuous. So norm is a continuous map. What should I do to prove the continuity? So take a sequence. Okay. So so first of all, what is the topology on E? In other words, what is the metric on E? Going to use the gauge and the metric. Like it's going to be the terms of norm okay okay and what's the metric on r it's the euclidean metric the simple metric norm because because you, you you see in order to define a function you need two metric spaces in other words you need two topologies okay so you need a, you know you need a topology on omega and topology on omega prime metric on omega and metric on omega prime so the question is if the norm is a continuous map What's the topology on E and what's the topology on R? So the topology of metric on E is, you know, uh, induced, you know by norm. induced by norm, and on R it's Euclidean norm. Okay. okay, let's be clear about that. This is an important thing. And then, because then we'll try to verify this basically. So is is this function continuous at a point x in E? Okay. So what we need to do? We need to take a sequence. Okay. To so take x n that converges to x in what sense? E. That is, not E. That is, x n minus x in the norm of E gets to zero. As as in goes to infinity. Okay. So what we want to show next is that f of x n can be just a. So what? So what is f here? So it's like f of x is going to be the norm of the x. So what we need to do? I need to take f of x n. You know, in other words, norm of x n. And take norm of x, okay, and take its epsilon. Oh, no. This should convert to zero. This should convert to zero. Now here's the point: Is there a relationship between these two? Yeah, what? So you have the right reverse triangle. We know that, like this, can be estimated by norm of x n. This goes 
goes to zero. This guy goes to zero. And hence, every norm is a But I would like to highly recommend to you that try to rewrite the proof of the reverse triangle inequality in normed spaces. Why this is true? That's the very equal norm of x minus y for all x comma y. Okay? So norm is a continuous function. And if it is a continuous function, you know, then that means something interesting. So, the, the, so if you translate this basically in the terms of norm, what is it is going to make sense? So it's going to limit n goes to infinity of norm of xn is equal to the norm of limit n goes to infinity. Norm and limits are interchangeable. We are going to use it. Next. plus being continuous. Take two sequences. So you're, doing, you're doing group theory now, huh? And you're talking about binary operations. At the moment, you're not talking about... So you have kind of a variety structure on the set. Okay. Can't you have a topological structure on the same algebraic structure? <laughs> if we say <laughs> that what if that binary operation is continuous, it's binary operation where it's continuous too, so it's going to give you kind of topology on that. So then you're going to have not only groups but topological groups. <laughs> Which one? 
Okay, so let's 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 try to prove it. Let's try to prove it. Let's try to make sense first of all. What is what is the meaning of plus being a continuous map actually? So what's a plus? <coughs> plus is a map from uh, e cross e e cross e into e e into e. Okay, so it's a map from e cross e into. We are assuming it to be binary. Now here's the question. So what should be the topology on P cross E? Okay, so we have a topology on E in the form of the map. What should be in the form of normal? In the product. In the product? going to be in the terms of this norm. Okay. So, so like this norm is going to induce a norm on E cross E. Okay. So product of two norm space is norm this norm space are we about to take? You can show it. Now we haven't showed it. Maybe who knows? Same norm. So here you have to go to norm Take it. What is, what is going to be the meaning of plus being continuous actually? So what do we need to do? What we need to take... Uh, what? So we need to take a point in E cross E. So what would be that point? So let F and G okay, are two points in other. Okay, let's take say X and Y in E. Okay, so it's like so that x comma y e plus e. And and take a sequence xn that converges to x and y n that converges to y. Okay. Then the continuity of the plus demands that is Xn plus Yn converges to as n goes to infinity. Have you not? Okay, and this convergence is going to be in this convergence. All of these convergences are going to be in here. Okay. Is it making sense? So, so in order to prove continuity, you have to prove this. So, is it a difficult thing to prove? No, sir. You have done it already. So, what you can do? So, you have norm of x n plus y n minus x minus minus x minus y plus y in the norm of e. So, what should I do? Uh, triangular inequality. These two guys are converging, so this will get to zero. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this will get to zero. Okay. So therefore the plus is continuous. Okay. So similarly, you can show scalar multiplication is continuous. In other words, if you, so what we'll show for that, that if you have a sequence xn which converges to xn, then you, if, and then you multiply that sequence with some lambda, okay, you know, the lambda xn is going to converge to lambda xn. Sum of two convergent sequences is, is convergent. So when you, are, when you are saying that sum of two convergent sequences is convergent, convergent you are actually saying that addition plus is a continuous, continuous map. This is because plus is continuous. Plus is a continuous map. So that's what you are saying. Take it? Yeah. How about how about we can show in a product? So why I'm saying in a product is present because Every norm the space need not to be an inner product. Okay, so there is no inner product on L infinity. Don't forget this example. So again, imagine same. 
x n goes to x and y n goes to y and e. So I want to show that inner product is a continuous map. So what, what I need to show that the inner product x n y n converges x y. Okay. I'm sure it's a little bit hard.